Right, so a day three setup video um, on oil. So the trade was on day three over here. Um, what we have is day one short, day two short. These shorts took out the low of the prior week. These are lows, new lows for the for the month. Right over here, these were the lows on the tenth, and we've even we've broken those this week. So walking in on day three, having seen the pump up into day one shorts, you had trap volume here. And we've run away from that trap volume, trapping bears. We've come up into the stops, the break-evens, market orders of day one shorts in the first push. And then we had a second push over here. Um, and then we had a third push in London, right? Lower lows bar this over here, lower lows, another lower low over here. Right, we're still on the front side of the trend line, so we couldn't do anything until the break of that. Right, they broke the trend line at the start of the New York session. And you've got to be thinking, this is a broken down market from day one. We've pushed up, we've come back down. We made the, the low of the week and the month. So the thesis is bearish below this trend line. The entry was on the back side of the micro trend line. We moved up into there for a new peak formation to start the session. Um, and this break of trend line here was the entry, the stop above the, the structure. To be super safe, the stop could have gone above here. And the entry could have been anticipated on the bounce for a retest. So however you want to do it. Um, and the first target being the, the money below the London lows and then the thesis is this is a continuation trade with the cash market opening and money coming into the into the day targeting lows over here and the money down here it's going to be the continuation break even and just letting whatever percentage it was left in to potentially come down which it did and so on now for the rest of the week this is all trap volume coming back up into these shorts on the back side of the trend thesis is lower day day four the bias is to the downside for a continuation of them four while remaining on the front side of the bearish trend shorts continuation 
So I've written a, an analysis for FX Street in the news section. WTI bears oppression of bulls below critical resistance. Break of 84.70 on the cards. No, I've changed that. It should be 84, the figure, not 84.70. So that's been changed to 84. Um, so interestingly, we have the break of the monthly trend. We now have this potential M formation being put in on the weekly chart. The price on the back end of the micro trend. And then we have the daily formation, the head and shoulders for a break of well, we've already broken 85.32 with the pins, but there's not been a convincing close below it. But nonetheless, that's what we're looking for. For a break of 84 being the prior, well, 83.70 and 84, the psychological level, which we're sort of slipping below. Um, So I really want to see A370 give out in the upper quarter for a move lower. And we'll call it 